Hi guys, no so welcome back sa ating uh, mock test of signal spectra and signal processing. So this time, I uh, will be dealing with in this video we'll be dealing with continuous time convolution. So this is an example problem no with regards sa continuous time convolution. So let me read the question guys. Let x sub 1 of t equal c of t plus 1.5 minus u of t minus 1.5 and x sub 2 of t is shown in the figure. So ito po siya. Okay, so as you can see on your screens. Now, if y of t equals the convolution of x1 of t and x2 of t, solve for the integral of y of t from minus infinity to positive infinity. Okay, so if you have, attend, uh, if you have attended our live classes, guys, all right? So evidently, no, this one, ito yung pinapahanap sa atin, basically what is this? If we are trying to solve the integral of a certain function, okay, and then we get the limit from negative infinity to positive infinity. So it's basically what? It, it's basically solving for the area or asking for the area. Okay? So it's asking for the area. Okay? No? So basically, ano na yung area? Nung y of t, where y of t is the convolution of x1 of t and x2 of t. Okay? So as you can see here, no? x2 of t is already given. Alright? So we just need to... Uh, visualize, no? Ano ba itsura no? Ano guys? Ano po yung itsura nung x1 of t? Okay, so let us uh, sketch it, no? Yan, let us sketch. Let's have a sketch no of x1 of t. So ano po ba itsura no nung x1 of t? So let's say this is t. Okay? And say this is t. And this is x1 of t. You know, so, ano ba itsura nung graph natin? Sabi rito, so we're asked to uh, graph, no? Yung u of t plus 1.5 minus u of t minus 1.5. So basically, this is just a rectangular pulse, right? So this is a rectangular pulse from from what? From minus 1.5 basically to positive or plus 1.5. Correct? Yes, no? Yan. And so basically, yun yung itsura niya. Because we will start with ano, negative 1.5. Okay, up until, okay, positive 1.5 kasi nag-minus na tayo dun. And since this is a unit step signal, okay, without any amplitudes, so it's understood na, ano guys, 1 po yung kanyang amplitude pagkaganyan. Okay, no, so alam na natin itsura ng x1 of t, alam na natin itsura ng x2 of t. Okay, so there are a lot of ways, no, on how to solve this problem. Okay, no, so I will teach you the ECS one, okay, using one of the properties ng convolution. So, what will be the solution? Okay. So, pagdating sa convolution, guys, no, we can use this property. Remember, we are not interested of finding the expression of y of t itself, right? So, we are just asked to solve for the area of y of t. Okay. So, one property ng convolution, guys, no? So, uh, I don't know if you still remember during our uh, classes is that if you want, okay, to find the integral of y of t, Okay, dt from minus infinity to positive infinity. So, this is simply equal, guys, saan? Okay, so provided that y of t ha, is the convolution of x1 of t and x2 of t. So, it's just the same as, okay, integral ng minus infinity to positive infinity ng x1 of t, okay, dt. Okay, yan, multiplied by, okay, multiplied by, okay, the integral of, Negative infinity to positive infinity ng x2 of t dt. So this is one of the ano, no, uh, important results no, ng relationship na meron tayo when we have the convolution of two functions. Meaning to say guys no, that uh, the area okay, of a signal, which is actually the convolution of two signals, ay equal sa product ng areas okay, ng two individual signals. Okay, no? So, in other words, guys, no, since we are asked to solve for the area of y of t, we don't need to actually find the expression for y of t. Why? Because we can just find the area of x1 of t, find the area of x2 of t, we multiply, and that's it. Okay? All right. So, and this one is quite easy, right? So, ano po ang area? Okay, from the figure, guys, no? What is the area of x1 of t? So, x1 of t, ito yun, right? No? So, ito yun. So, ano pong area nito? 
So I think everyone can uh, solve for the area of this one because this is simply what? This is simply a rectangle, right? So ano bang formula ng era ng rectangle, guys? So this is simply base times height. So our base is 3. Okay, the base is 3, guys. Okay, multiply by the height of 1. So that's it. 3 times 1. So that's the area of x1 of t. So in x2 of t, as you can see from the drawing, it's just the same, no? So this is also a rectangular pulse. So, kukunin mo lang din yung area nitong rectangle na to. So, it's quite easy, right? However, merong dalawang signal dun sa gilid niya. Ano yun, no? So, these two signals are impulses, right? And we know, guys, know that the impulses have infinite amplitudes, okay? But their area, finite. Okay? So, pagka may nakasulat na ganyan, guys, remember that the impulse signal, okay, ang kanyang amplitude ay infinite. Yung number dyan, this is the area of the impulse. So, this is the area of the impulse. Area nila yon, Area ng impulse yon. So, in other words, guys, no, yung area nito is actually the sum of area of the rectangular pulse. That is simply 2 times 1 because the base is 2 and the height is 1. Okay, plus the area of the first impulse, 1, and the area of the second impulse, 2. Okay? Yeah, no? So, it's just simply uh, multiply lang natin yung 3 by what is 2 plus 1 plus 2. So, that is 5, right? 2 plus 1 plus 2, that is 5. And therefore, no, ito na hinahanap natin, ano yung integral ng minus infinity to positive infinity ng y of t. Okay, dt. So, this is simply equal sa 15. This is simply equal sa 15. 15. So, this is our answer. 15 is our answer. Yes? Yes, sir. All right. Okay. Okay. Now, for your homework, guys. Okay, no? So, uh, apply what you have learned in the problem. Okay, no? So, let me read the homework problem, guys. For signals x of t and y of t shown in the figure, z of t is equal to convolution of x of t okay, and y of t. Now, we are asked to solve for uh, z of 4. No? Z of 4, guys. All right? Okay, no? So, yun, guys, no? So, use the concept that you have learned er earlier, okay, as well as the Ano, uh, concepts that we have learned in class. So, solve the problem, comment your answers, and see you sa next video. Bye!